There are a number of strongmen that have competed at the world's strongest man a crazy amount of times. Mark Felix is about to appear at his 16th world's strongest man. Zadrina Saviska's competed there 14 times, and even I've battled it out on 11 different occasions. It took most former world's strongest man winners at least a few attempts at the competition before they were able to take the title. And as fans, it was easy to get behind the familiar faces that we saw returning year after year. But what about the athletes at the opposite end of the spectrum? Today, we're gonna to take a look at strong men with the shortest careers at the world's strongest man contest. Number 10 is Eddie Elwood. The five-time winner of the Mr. Universe title made his first and only world's strongest man appearance in 2003. It was the same year that Eddie won his first England Strongest Man title, and despite looking in great shape, he unfortunately wasn't able to carry that success over to Worlds. Even when his only focus had been bodybuilding, Eddie was a seriously strong athlete with a deadlift PB of 410 kilos, and he could incline bench 220 for six to eight reps. Elwood was holding his own in a difficult heat, which featured four former finalists. However, a bicep injury suffered in the farmer's walk ended his campaign after just four events. Number nine, Jorgen Lundberg. Jorgen was a European powerlifting champion with some impressive numbers in his weight class, including a 420 kilo squat and 230 kilo bench press. He was also a regular competitor at Sweden's Strongest Man, placing second three times to Magnus Samuelsson. The Swedish powerlifting star suffered a baptism of fire in the World's Strongest Man 2003 when he tore his calf after a few meters in the opening event, The Farmer's Walk. Undeterred, Lundberg continued with the competition, doing well in the train pool before tying for second place in the deadlift for reps whilst wearing sandals. However, the Atlas Stones proved tough for the five foot nine inch Swede. The first podium was six foot high and Lundberg ended up taking the stone to his head, after which he withdrew from the competition. Number eight, Robert Szczepanski. The Polish athlete was already an accomplished strongman when he made his first World's Strongest Man appearance in 2010. Robert had already competed in three IFSA World Strongest Man Championships, finishing 9th, 6th and 7th place. He won an IFSA Grand Prix in 2007 and placed second at a Giants Live show in Poland behind Vitaitis Lalas in 2010. However, at his first World Strongest Man appearance in 2010, he was placed in a tough heat against Derek Poundstone and Terry Hollands. Robert did well in the first two events, placing second on the farmer's walk and the power stairs. He suffered a shoulder injury during the deadlift and withdrew from the competition. This ended up being his final major strongman contest. Number seven, Benedict Magnusson. More widely known for his unbelievable achievements in powerlifting, Benedict Magnusson is another athlete with experience competing at the IFSA World Championships. He also competed at the Arnold Strongman Classic on three separate occasions, placing fifth overall in both the 2006 and 2008 contests. Benny was invited to the World's Strongest Man a few times in the past, but declined the invitation to focus on his main love, the deadlift. He made his first long-awaited appearance at the World's Strongest Man in 2015 in a heat full of legends such as Zdrunas Viscus and me. Sadly, Benny hurt himself in the third event, the squat lift, which would ultimately draw an end to his World's Strongest Man career. Number 6. Ralph Williams the massive American, Ralph Williams, came into the 1998 competition as his first strongman competition ever. Ralph struggled on the first event, the super yoke, only managing to move it one meter. The second event started well, but he unfortunately injured himself going for a 15th rep on the Viking press. Today, Williams is a reverend in his hometown of Ferguson, Missouri. Number five, Jose Havas. 
We know very little about Jose, other than the fact he's described as a former professional boxer before his appearance at the World's Strongest Man held in the year 2000. The competition didn't start well for Jose, with him struggling to move the super yoke and was over shortly after the Africa stone carry where he withdrew due to injury. Number 4. Jean-Marc Tocquevin Jean-Marc Tocquevin dominated the French strongman scene in the late 1990s and realised his dream of going to the world's strongest man in the year 2000. In similar circumstances to Jose Havas, the Frenchman was forced to withdraw after the Africa Stone. Number 3. Sigfus Fostel Icelandic strongman Sigfus Fostel made his debut appearance at the World's Strongest Man in 2019. It was a late call-up and Sigfus didn't have long to prepare for the competition. Unfortunately, he tore his Achilles during the first event, the Monster Jam Truck Pool completing 21.2 meters of the course. It was a devastating blow and about as bad as it gets for any athlete during their first opportunity to compete on the world stage. Sigfus is back training hard and working with an excellent coach. He hopes to make it back to the world's strongest man in the future. Number two, Malone Horn. The South African athlete made his debut appearance at the world's strongest man in 2003. Malone tore a bicep during the first event, the carry and tire flip, after completing 15.5 meters of the course and was forced to withdraw from the competition. Number 1. Alexander Matviev The Russian powerlifter tore a bicep while testing the tire flip before the beginning of the heats at the 1998 World's Strongest Man. For reasons unknown, there was no reserve to take his place, so the Russian had to show up at the start line of the carry and drag, despite the fact there was no way he'd be able to complete the duck walk. So there you have it guys, the 10 athletes with the shortest careers at the World's Strongest Man contest. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.